This problem is asking for the time en route, so we know we'll have to have some information about distance and ground speed. So time en route from Gila. So here we are. Gila up to the Buckeye VOR. So we're going this direction. So we know what the function that gives us ground speed information is going to be the heading slash ground speed, and we are given wind information also. So normally what we do, and I'll go ahead and start by plotting, drawing the line between the two points, and then normally what we would do is we'd come up with the true course using the plotter and then using a line of longitude to determine the degrees. So we'd pull, do all this out, plotter and everything, but what we have, what we're actually looking at is we can see that we are actually going between two VORs, and between the two VORs, there is this established Victor route already, which has a lot of the information we already need. So we can already see that if we are flying between these two VORs, the heading that we're going to fly is given right here, 332. So true course is 332, and the boxed in number is the distance between two VORs. And that's going to be distance 31 nautical miles. So we've got true course 332 distance 31 nautical miles. Now we need to determine ground speed going over to the headings ground speed, wind is 180 at 17 knots, course is 332, true airspeed is 125, And then we're given the ground speed of 138.9. So we're going to go ahead and round that to 140. Now that we have ground speed and distance, we can determine the leg time. So flight down to leg time, distance 31 nautical miles and the ground speed will carry forward from the last function that we did that's related. And that will give us the leg time at 13 minutes and 18 seconds. And that will be the time en route between these two VORs.